Hello, everybody. I'm happy to be here today. Um, we are here with more Pokemon Platinum. It is a Saturday afternoon. Hello, Brody. As always, thank you for being here. Um, I... It's been a while. It's been a while. I don't think I have been with you uh, since Sunday. Um, here in the United States, it was Thanksgiving. Had some Thanksgiving break time off of work. Um, but a lot of family time, which was really nice. Um, but again, I'm happy to be here with you today. Today in Platinum, we have made it to the Pokemon League. And I will give you a little team recap. We have our friend Pikachu the Vaporeon. We have Hot to Go the Toxicroak. And we'll change some move sets in a little bit. Um, we have Autumn the Torterra. We have Static, of course, the Magnezone. We have Breakfast, the Togekiss, uh, one of the MVPs of our squad. And of course, Karen, the Houndoom. So today, what I was hoping to do, our squad is not quite up to par to challenge the league yet. Um, and I'll probably end up doing a little bit of like off-screen grinding just so that you don't have to see all of that. But today I wanted to get into some stuff and I'm trying to think of where I can find a specific kind of Pokeball. Um, I'm actually going to drop down here first. Hooray, we're here in Sunny Shore City. Um, there is one thing I wanna do before we challenge the league. I'm gonna pop into this mart. I don't know if they have any, but it'll probably be this lady here on the left. Um, they have luxury balls here. Um, okay, so they don't have what I'm looking for, but I will still buy some Ultra Balls. Oh, I have 15 of those. That's cool. I'll buy another 15. And I think I have pretty much all the potions that I want for my trip to the Pokemon League. Um, let me go ahead and check here. Oh, yeah, we got tons of revives, super potions, hypers... Uh, oh, 40 full restores. Come on, man. We'll use this sink here. Um, this is going to be for special defense. Let's give it to... We'll give it to Autumn. It's always nice pumping up our starter. But first things first, there's going to be a couple cool TMs that I want to get. And I might need a little reminder of how exactly to get them. But here we're going to stop over in Orberg City. Um, for those of you that are sports fans, there's a big college football game going on right now. My Ohio State Buckeyes, I actually attended the Ohio State University. Um, so I'm actually really happy about that. They are playing their arch rival Michigan right now as I speak. However, the game's going really weird and not super well. Ohio State should be doing better. Um, but it's okay. I'll survive. I'm happy to kind of, uh get my mind off of it. Just because Ohio State should beat Michigan by a lot, but they're just not playing well, and the game is just weirdly tied. Not super happy about it. So, um, I'm happy to be doing this. This puts me way more at ease. So, I am looking for a specific TM. I just want to make sure I don't already have it. We have a lot of good TMs that we can use here, gang. So, We've been here in the Orberg Gate before. We haven't really been... But when we went down here the first time, we were unable to do the bike stuff or surf. So we have a little bit of business we can do here. We're going to grab a specific TM. There we go. Oops, that's the wrong setting. Let me... There we go. Oops. All right, because i got to time this up. There we go. And if you hop over that, you can get the TM for Brick Break. Once you have the bike and you go underneath to the Orberg Gate, you can pick up this TM for Brick Break. It is one of the best fighting type moves in the game. And we will be teaching that to our Toxicroak before we challenge the Pokemon League. I will probably end up getting rid of Rock Climb. I don't want to get rid of it quite yet. I'm not going to do it until we are like ready to challenge the Pokemon League. And is there anything... I don't know if there's anything on this side of the water. Um, 
Oh my gosh, okay. No! Remove Lugia? Glacial, hello, good to see you. Lugia's my favorite, no! Um, but <laughs> if I can make any change to Johto, you're making a heart gold ROM hack. Oh, you know, Brody, I know you are a fan of Crystal Legacy, a lot like I am. Really, the main change I would make is, um, or the, make cha the most changes, plural, I would make, have to do with just Pokemon availability, like being able to use a Houndoom in a playthrough, being able to use Murkrow, Slugma, all of those Pokemon that are kind of locked behind, um, locked behind Kanto in the Johto games. Um, oops, that's the wrong move. I don't need to waste my time with um, Leech Seed here on a Riolu. No! <laughs> I keep misclicking. You got me talking. There we go. Um, perfect. So that'll do the trick. Star Raptor. Terrible for Autumn. Let's... We'll just get Karen in here. Ah, uh, yes. Give me that Fire Blast. Leave no doubt. Love to see it. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we kind of just have a random... A random veteran down here. Yeah, I don't know what this item is across the water here. It is nice to pick up a little bit of experience. Um, yes, and again, a lot of this kind of side business that we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make sure we have all of our HMs with us. Ooh, the Earth Plate! This could come in handy for Torterra. There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. The powers of plates are shared among Pokémon, which is very cool, because as you know, we can put those plates on our Pokemon to power up that specific type of move. Um, oh, and the TM for Focus Punch. Another good fighting type move uh, down here in the Orberg Gate. Um, not really one that I'm stoked to use because it's a two-turn move. Um, not always great. Um, <laughs> on your way to delete Lugia. You guys are just trolling me. You know I love my boy. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> of course. But yes, Brody, that is that is what I would do. Oh, I just did the wrong rock smash. Um, that's the that's the main thing. And you could maybe like change some of the gym leader teams. Um, like I don't know. I would love to give like Bugsy a Lady Ba or a Heracross or something, for example. Um, just stuff like that. Um, so now we're gonna pick up another TM. We're gonna pop up to Eterna City. I'm not positive if we're gonna use this or not, but this is just going to be a great um, coverage move option for our friend Breakfast. Um, I want to have one more special move um, but I know if we pop over here, we need rock climb, I'm told. Oh, yeah. Increasing the, um, Elite Four teams will be nice. Er, am I in the right spot for this? I don't know. Yes, I don't have it. Hold on. I thought I knew where I needed to go for this. Um, uh, I'm cheating, classic. Um, ah. Wrong place. Wrong place. Um, there is a rock climb spot up over here by Celestic Town. I was wrong. This might be the same route, which is why I was confused. But it's not on the Eterna City side that I need to be. I need to be over here on the Celestic Town side. Yes, I think it is the same route. But this rock climb spot is where I need to go because there's gonna be a really nice TM up there for us. 
All right, so once we smash that rock and we have access to this rock climb spot, we can go up here and we can get ourselves the TM4 Psychic. Always a really nice uh, TM to have. And in this game, that could be a really good coverage move for our friend Breakfast, the Togekiss. Um, all right. Oh, okay. You're gonna make better teams and availability. You've, oh, you've got Yan, Yanma and Murkrow better. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, a lot of the same things that Crystal Legacy did um, will be the, the play there, Brody. Um, all right. I am gonna look up one more thing. Okay, so where can I buy these? Ah, so we were actually in the right spot in Orberg City. Oops, that is not what I wanted. Just going between Orberg and Eterna. So now I can pop on over to the Orberg Pokemon Mart. And not yacht you. I'm gonna talk to you. Oh my gosh. This is really annoying. I really thought that was the correct area. Um bit it did it do There we go. Oh, this is really hilarious. Um, oh! I could have just gone to the Pokemon League this whole time, I'm told. Um, I love that you have made Lady Ba a usable Pokemon, Brody. <laughs> this reminds me of a short that I made <laughs> with Emerald where I pointed out that you could fly to the bottom Pokemon Center and the top Pokemon Center. There's two separate areas for the Pokemon League. And so many people were like, you idiot, that's the most obvious thing ever. And I'm like, sorry. Um, you can do the same in this game. <laughs> so we're flying just directly to the actual Pokemon League castle here. Um, great. So if I talk to you, I think I'll finally get what I'm looking for. Nope, not you. You. There it is. I was looking for Dusk Balls. So a Dusk Ball is something that you can use specifically to catch Pokemon at night or in caves. And we are going to be taking some trips to some caves here soon. Um, I'll buy a couple Timer Balls. Those were the Canada Ball that we used specifically to catch Groudon and Kyogre. They were very useful. I was buying a lot of Pokeballs here. Do, do, do. <laughs> Thanks, Glacial. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate that, both of you. Thank you for adding to the chorus of, of hatred. Um, all right. So, one thing I want to try to do is I'm going to pop down here to Pastoria City because we are finally going to stop over by Lake Valor and we are gonna see if we can catch ourselves the Lake Trio today. Um, they saved the day in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the climax of the story section of this game. Let me do a little speed up here. Um, <laughs> I love it for you too. You're truly free. We might be able to stop in there too and maybe do some of the double battles, collect some money, a little bit of experience. Um, all right, so now let's hop here to Lake Valor. Ooh. I know we listened to this music earlier, but... Ooh. The lake music is so nice. It's just snappy and fun, but also mysterious. Very cool. Um, super Repel, let's do it. 
Okay. Oh, you gave Ladybot a fighting type. That's super interesting. Um, so now, now that we have completed the story section at Spear Pillar, we can go into the Valor Cavern and our friend Azelf is waiting here for us to catch them. Um, you can catch Uxi as well as Mesprit, but Mesprit, there's a little bit of a wrinkle. So right now we are gonna do our best to catch Azelf. Let's do it. All right, so I just saved the game. Um, we're definitely gonna make use of Yawn on breakfast. I'm gonna save the game again because I have anxiety. Ooh, and we got some great music here. Ooh, come on. Oh, wait, hold up. There's a nice drop here. Oh. Yes. Oh, that little bass riff, that boo de doo de doo is incredible. Yes, this is a jam right here. Um, oh, and you know what? If our squad has a hard time at the Pokemon League, we can always just use some of these bad boys. Mm -mm. Almost just used another crunch. That would have been terrible. Um, I'm going to use a Razor Leaf. That shouldn't kill it unless it's a crit. We'll see. I did save beforehand. I should just use an actual save state, but... And there's that critical hit that I feared. So, we're gonna re-rack that. Um... <laughs> Cynthia's jam is very good, yes. Um... Oh, we're doing side quests today, my friend. Oh, yes. Here we're, uh... Back to where we were. I'm going to do a quick save there. There we go. So I don't have to fully restart every time. Mm. Oh, there it is again. I, I like can't resist it. It's so good. Okay. So now Azelf is using Nasty Plot here, which is really bad because it's just a special attack sword stance. Very, very bad. Um, I'm gonna try another Razor Leaf, because as you can see, even that Swift is still just destroying us. Um, please don't crit this time. Thank you. Um, let me just go for a Dust Ball. I remember Azelf, Uxi, and Mesprit as being like notoriously difficult to catch. Um, and I remember just completely powering through all of my Dusk Balls. I'm just going to go here with Torterra until um, it dies. Because I don't want to do... Okay. Oh, I don't. I actually don't know if, if it can fall asleep while it's, while it's doing an uproar. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's true. So while it's making an uproar, it literally can't be put to sleep. So hopefully it calms down so then I can use yawn. No, it's still not. Um, this could be an issue. Yeah, okay, so now it calms down. Um, I'm actually just gonna use a potion here. Oh, dang it, another uproar. All right, so we're gonna be stuck here a little bit. Let me let me just try throwing some Pokeballs. Let me try an Ultra Ball while I'm at it. Okay, still nothing. Oh no, and that kills. So now we've lost Yawn, that sucks. Um, oh, I know. I can still use Thunder Wave. I like to do Sleep um, because then they can't uh, move at all, but paralysis. Oh, baby! I said it was hard. We get Azelf quick. 
Oh, that's great. Um, GG's. Glacial, I want you to name uh, Azelf. Can you name Azelf for us? Azelf is the willpower Pokemon. Fun fact, Azelf is my personal favorite of the Lake Trio. Um, when Azelf flew, people gained the determination to do things. It was the birth of willpower. Very cool. Um, ooh, okay, I have a good name, Glacial, if you don't have one. Um, give a nickname to Azelf? Absolutely. Let's see, if you can give me a name, I'll be happy to use it. If not, I have, I, I got one up in my noggin here. <laughs> oh, I can take Azelf? Okay. Um, since Azelf is the birth of willpower, I'm going to name this Azelf William. Um, gotta love just a normal human name for a Pokemon. William. Lovely. And, oh, I love in that battle theme you get this do do Um, really, really cool, actually. Um, okay, so that's amazing. That did not go as poorly as I thought at all. Um, and if you recall, uh, the other lake is up here at Lake Acuity by Snow Point City. So now we can go and catch Ooxie. Um... All right, but first we gotta heal the squad. Lovely. I, my heart just dropped for a second because I didn't know if I was recording. Um, I really, I, I really enjoyed catching like all of the legendary Pokemon in this playthrough. I think I didn't do it in, I didn't do it in Crystal because I think there was something weird. I don't remember why I didn't do it in Crystal. And who knows, maybe we can always go back and do it if we want. I think I have a Repel up. It seems I do. Um, Let me get this Rock Climb going. Oh, this game has some great vibe spots. The lakes being one of them. It's really annoying. Yep. <laughs> There's our good friend Psyduck. Um, oh, and that completely reminds me. I, I guess is a little tiny nugget of a hint um, by seeing Psyduck reminded me of this. I want to try to get to 1,000 uh, 1, YouTube subscribers. So if you are part of the replay gang on YouTube, I highly encourage you to actually subscribe to the YouTube channel because I have something really cool that I want to do for when we get 1,000 subscribers. And I've, I've just been, I'm almost finished with it, and I'm just like chomping at the bit to do it. I think it'll be really fun, um, and really fun discourse specifically. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, please, and thank you. Um, thank you, Glacial. I know I see, I have seen a lot of people do that. Um, they were able to find me on YouTube first, and then um, <laughs> thanks, Brody. Um, a lot of people were able to find me on YouTube first, and then they will come and check out the streams live. Um, but a lot of people will find, will find me from YouTube shorts, but I'm not really getting the same level of discovery from the YouTube shorts as I was previously. And maybe people were more into like crystal and emerald than they are platinum. It's, you know, it's whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that can start to pick up again, so then we can just get more subscribers over there. Oof. Let's get this fire music once again. Oof. Hmm. Can't stop. Won't stop. Um, you know, a lot of the Lake Trio, uh, I wasn't really high on them when they first came out. A lot of people weren't, um, because they are just a lot like Mew. They're very, they, they just have that vibe. 
so people weren't super into them when they first came out. I feel like they've grown on me a lot. I actually really like them. Um, I know, I completely agree with you, Glacial. I, I think Platinum is as good as any Pokemon game, if I'm being honest. Like, um, to me, Emerald and Platinum are probably the two best Pokemon games. I, I really think that. Crystal's my favorite. Like, Gold, Silver, Crystal, I just love Gen 2. That's just my heart. Um, but I really find these to be... Oh, there's that theme. Do, do, do. So cool. Um, I really find those two games to be as good as any of the Pokemon games that have ever been released. Um, ooh, Amnesia powering up that special defense. As you can see, Uxie tanked uh, Torterra's crunch a little bit better than Azelf did. Uxie's a little bit more of a defensively built Pokemon. Um, oh, I am so excited to play Emerald Legacy Brody. That's, it's going to be really fun. It comes out like December. It comes out in, in December here. Um, ooh, I've been yawned myself. How about that? Um, okay, so let's let's keep the let's keep the, this stuff going. We'll try to catch Uxi in this Dusk Ball here. Um, we're both asleep. How about that? All right. Uh, I don't remember. Can I wake up if I just keep throwing Pokeballs? Probably not. Um, all right. So now I kind of got to try to get through my sleep. I suppose I could use a full heal, but I'm not really fussed about it. Um, and I would like to do a little more damage, but I don't know if I'll be able to without killing Uxi here. Um, it, it has used Amnesia. Maybe I can... Maybe an Ancient Power won't kill it just because it's buffed itself up. Yes, okay, great. It tanked that really well. I can probably use another one. There we go. Um, now let's try to get off another Yawn. Lovely. All right, we're cooking with gas here. And that is fine because then I can get a uh, Thunder Wave on it when it wakes up next time. Um, lovely. Let's keep throwing. Oh, that seemed to kind of like stutter and stop on me. Um, do, uh, okay, very close. That is one of the most disheartening things ever is when you get the no shake. Zero shakes, it's just no fun at all. Like, you finally got it whittled down, you got the status on it, and you finally throw that Pokeball and it's just like nothing, just like that. No shakes, so disheartening. Um, oh yes, you're so yeah, you're right, Glacial. That was proven correct. Um, hmm. December twelfth, Brody. Yes, excited about that. Um, I have always enjoyed the release of a new um, legacy game from Smith Plays Pokemon. I've re I've enjoyed those a lot, specifically Crystal Legacy because it's a lot like we were talking about. Um, earlier when you were making some corrections to like heart gold in your ROM hack. Um, it's really nice specifically in the Johto games to fix some like level curve stuff and to fix some, uh, whatchamacallit, just, pu pu just team stuff. Yes, amazing. Uxie goes down pretty quick as well. Um, do you have a name for Uxi, Glacial, or Brody? Um, Uxi is the knowledge Pokemon. When Uxi flew, people gained the ability to solve problems. It was the birth of knowledge. Very neat. Um, I know, that's so true. Apollo, Glacial, you got it. Apollo, the birth of knowledge. Um, Apollo the Uxi. Um, so, oh yeah, like I was saying... Um, I love Generation 2 so much, um, but it was always treated more as, like, a sequel to Gen 1 rather than its, like, own thing. Almost like a Generation 1 extension rather than, like, a new region. So all of the gym leaders use Gen 1 Pokemon, or many of them do. 
and a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon just don't get their due. Um, and it just feels kind of weird. Um, but it's also like, I get where the developers' heads were at when they were designing it. Um, so that's why Crystal Legacy was so cool to me. Um, and then just having Yellow Legacy and Emerald Legacy as well is also awesome. Um, so that is really cool that we were able to catch Uxie and Azelf pretty quick. So let's pop down here to our hometown of Twinleaf. Um, and we are going to give Mesprit a visit at Lake Verity. Uh, the first lake we ever um, encountered here in Pokemon Platinum in Sinnoh. Oh. One of my favorite things is just that feeling of starting a new game um, in one of the Pokemon games. It's just having that feeling, just that feeling of things being new, um, that feeling of things being like, of the possibilities being endless. Um, I'm actually gonna save here. <laughs> Um, ooh, what Gen 2 Pokemon do I think needs the biggest buff? Um, my mind goes to Sneasel. Sneasel is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, and I've always thought it just played a little bit weird in Generation 2, especially if it's not going to evolve, which it doesn't. Not originally, anyway. So, here we get to Lake Verity, and we are able to encounter our friend Mesprit. As you've seen, we were able to catch both Azelf and Uxie here in their caverns, but when you talk to Mesprit, you just see it and register it in your Pokedex, and then it decides to fly away, flew off somewhere. Mesprit is actually a roaming Pokemon. So you're able to catch the other two in their caverns, but then you have to find Mesprit somewhere in Sinnoh, which is kind of cool. It makes it, it gives it its own identity as kind of like the leader of the trio. So Rowan here. Mm, dot, 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 SCG, that was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I'd asked you to do at the Candelave Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and, some, and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. How about that? But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Ugh. Love Rowan. SCG, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted you it wanted to play with you. If you you were to use the Poketch app marking map, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Okay, so you're tr it's trying to get you to get this app. What? You don't have the marking map? You should occasionally pay visits to the Poketch company, you know. So um, that sounds like that's in Jubilife City, I'm pretty sure. So if we can get that app from Jubilife City, we'll be able to track down Mesprit. I have no idea how to do that. I've actually never... I've never tried... <laughs> he secretly works for the app store, that's so funny. Um, I've never tried to track Mesprit. I wasn't planning on it, honestly. Um, I was just gonna get its, um data and then um, kind of move on and not try to catch it because I find trying to catch roaming legendaries very annoying. Like in generation two, Entei and Raikou are roaming. Well, in Crystal you can catch Suicune, but Suicune's also roaming in Gold and Silver. Um, so yeah, the legendary beasts are roaming Pokemon in generation two, and I've always found trying to catch them as really annoying. Um, I don't love it. So I wasn't really planning on trying to catch Mesprit, but I do want to see what this marking map is about. Um, just see what its deal is. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's our original fountain. Lovely. I think it's here. Oh, nope, that's the Jubilife TV station. What are you? The Poketch Company. Wonderful. So it seems like I can find it somewhere in here. Um, no, you may not. Unless you're going to give me the app. Um, let's see. Someone's gonna give this to me. Um, there's no way he would have said that if he didn't give it to me. Ah! Memo pad. 
Um, so the memo pad can be used for jotting down quick notes. Um, so let me see what it looks like. There's our friendship checker. Oh, here's the memo pad. So it looks like I can, ah, I can draw. Just draw on squiggles and we'll get our eraser and erase it. They really do encourage you to use the touchpad in a really nice way in these games. And for those of you that aren't really familiar with the Nintendo DS, this little smaller bottom section I have on my screen is the bottom screen of the Nintendo DS that's a touch screen, and you would have a stylus. Um, and you could draw on there and do stuff. And the layout is just a little bit different than the old games, and it just gives you some cool things to do. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, my badges are probably not clean. You are so right. Hold on, let me talk to these people and we will, um, we will make sure that we uh, do this do this right. Um, I like to have the dowsing machine up. Oh, there's a calendar, nice. Oh, coin, heads or tails? Ah, it's tails. Tails never fails. Um, okay, great. So let's polish our badges, hooray. Oh, we're a little dark. We're a little dark. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to get these badges up to four sparkles today. And I love when you get it to four sparkles, the sparkles just like go faster. Like eventually. Like once we get there. I know. This is the four sparkle stream. Um I know not cleaning my badges i am i am shameful um oh yeah and it is kind of annoying here because as you can see i'm shaking my camera as always because i'm just like shaking my entire desk trying to move my mouse and shine these badges oh i will 100 percent give you a song with the badges um but uh i was just talking about the stylus on the nintendo ds um, that's what this whole badge polishing thing is. Um, you could just take your stylus and polish polish your badges. Um, and for some reason I always get impatient polishing one badge at a time. And like here, it's like darker. It's like a darker sound, but once you get it one level, it goes like another key, basically. Um, or another note. I don't know if that was another octave or not. Um, all right. We're getting there. We're almost there. And as you can see, what are these called? The coal badge. The forest badge is what I am doing right now. There we go. Uh, so we have the coal badge. We have the forest badge. Here, Maylene's badge is the cobble badge which I always thought was an interesting name. Um, uh, to the right of it is the Fen badge, which um, that was always confusing to me. I'm pretty sure Fen is a Japanese word that has something to do with water. Um, it at least, you know, has the phonetics of being a Japanese word. Um, and it would make sense that I wouldn't understand why Fen meant something to do with water um, when I was playing this as a kid. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's very interesting. Um, a lot of those things that kind of get lost in translation when you are an American child playing a Japanese game. And I really was thinking about it. Um, most of the games that we grew up playing came from Japan. I mean, Mario is the is the example, but then, any Nintendo property like Zelda or anything like that is also going to be from Japan. Pokemon's from Japan. Square Enix, Final Fantasy. Um, Japan is like the video game capital of the world, essentially. Um, there we go, finally. Look at those badges sparkle. All right, let's see if I remember how to play this. Oh, sorry. Hold 
when the saints go marching in. That's what I would always play. I can't play it as fast when I'm just clicking on my mouse. Um, let's see. Should you make Flaffy evolve at 35 instead of 30 and give Ampharos the dragon type? Brody, it's your world, buddy. You do what you want. That sounds fun. Um, all right. Ooh, is there something in these trash cans? I feel like there should be. Um, all right, here we are on the top floor. Rowan said to come here. Do you have something for me? Ah, very interesting. This is a place I have never explored in this game. Which Poketch app would you like to learn about? I know about those. Um, what do you have for me? Um, no. Maybe that guy in the front, maybe he gives you like an app a day or an app versus like how many uh, badges you have or whatever. Okay, yeah, so that seems like what's going on. There's the marking map. So this guy can give us a few apps if we talk to him. Having a map constantly displayed is convenient. No, you can also mark things, so it's much more useful. Um, okay, so yeah. Now that we have a bunch of batches, he'll give us a bunch of uh, different apps here. The Link Searcher app determines the availability of wireless hotspots. Interesting. Not quite as useful today. Um, the Move Tester. What does this do? Um, it's used to check how moves match up. Oh, interesting. Check type matchup so you can make all your attacks super effective. Ah, oh, well. Lucky for you, I am a... Okay, good. That's all he gives you. I am an expert, so I already know my type matchups, Mr. Mr. President Man. So yeah, we're not chasing Mesprit. Not today, maybe not ever. But I did want to show off something else. Um, let's do this. We'll just pop over here to Sunny Shore City. Oh yeah, I don't have cut. That's okay. I'm pretty sure I don't need that item over there. All right, now we're here at the Valor Lakefront. I kind of talked about this place earlier. So this is the cafe and you can come in here and you can fight these trainers at each table in a double battle. It's kind of just like you you are interrupting their meal, which is really funny. And there are more trainers in here every day. So this is kind of a good training spot for the player. Um, definitely like in the middle of the game, um, which is really cool. And just a nice little flavor thing to have included in the game. So we're going to knock out these fools. Ba -ba -dum. Yeah, and as you can see, they're a little bit lower level. Um, oh, wow. Because you can start challenging these people once you defeat um, Maylene and get that um, third badge. So let's fight all these people. I'm pretty positive that you can um, challenge more people every day. Almost positive. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, let's do this and that. That'll work for me, probably. And then there we go. That did just enough. Is a really nice way to pick up some money, too, because a lot of these people are really having a lot of money. And I suppose if we use Togekiss, we could pick up a lot more because we have that amulet coin on there. Do, 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 wapa, do, 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 But yeah, really at this point, um, We've kind of done a lot of what I want to do. We were able to catch some legendaries, which was fun. Um, I want to try to get the squad up to level about 50. Um, and then I can use some rare candies. And we will be ready to challenge the league. Um, 
I might do just a little bit of boring old grinding if I'm being honest with you. Um, and then I can kind of do the rest off screen. Um, I'm actually going to swap my team. There we go. There we go. Get Hound Doom some nice, some nice action here. Do, 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 do. Let's see, yeah, Per Ugly is going to give some decent experience there. Oh, and that was some decent money. You get, yeah, like those socialites going there. Um, do, 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 and that's that. So now we've fought all the trainers in there. What does this person say? At our restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You can also partake in battles. Bon appetit. Um, so yeah, this place is called Seven Stars Restaurant. More flavor than you can wish for. Um, all right, so let me pop up over here. Um, yeah, I might just take a little bit of time on our stream here and do some grinding in the Victory Road just to try to get us up some levels. I'm pretty sure we've fought every trainer in here at this point. And in my mind, we've fought every trainer that you can fight here in um, Sinnoh up to this point. And I, one thing that I don't love about Sinnoh is once you get to a certain point, you really do kind of reach like the end of the road in terms of experience that you can gain. Um, and that did so much, especially a crit. Fire Blast might be able to take it out with its bad special defense, great. Um, yeah, this is not a great place to train Karen. Um, <laughs> and my speed up button's like not even working right now. Yeah, sometimes here with this um, game, I'm getting just like a little bit of stutter with my speed up button and it's not like fully working. I know that we can find some Steelix in here, which would be a good thing for Karen the Houndoom to take care of. That'll be an instant one shot. And yeah, ooh, I actually think we're about to get Flamethrower, maybe? Maybe 48. I'm almost positive that at 48, Karen is going to get Flamethrower. Um, and we have Ride on here. Awesome. That, yes, the burn saved us there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, once Houndoom goes down, I'll swap to a different Pokemon. There we go. All my Fire Blasts hit, which is nice. Um, boo doo 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 doo. All right, that is annoying, but I can at least have some Fire Fangs. Wow. It's just that using my attack power and using it against Steelix's defense is a huge difference there. All right, not even gonna waste time with that. Um, we'll get hot to go going. It's gonna be good against some of the rock type Pokemon in here. That's not very effective, great. Um, and we'll split it up. I actually forgot that you can find Gabites in here. Um, and you know, it returns a pretty good move on Togekiss, but again, we're not really gonna need it too terribly. Um, lovely. It's good to have at least a little bit of a fighting move. Again, we're probably going to get rid of Rock Climb just so we can teach Hot to go Brick Break, just so it has a little bit stronger of a fighting move. Um, hot to go. This is not the greatest place to train her either. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. At least Static has Flash Cannon. That's going to be able to knock out all of those rock types in one shot very easily. Do, 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 Um, so yeah, I guess I can talk a little bit about my plan for Platinum here. Um, I have said, and I'm going to stick to it, I am not planning on doing the Battle Frontier here in Platinum. Uh, like we did in Emerald. I am just not very familiar with it. I don't really have a plan for like keeping good TMs for later or training a team for later or anything. I know a lot of people do like the Battle Frontier here in Generation 4, um, but that's just not something that 
I know much about or will do. Um, but that said, I do have some good post-game episodes planned here for Platinum. So once we take on the Pokemon League, which I think will be next episode, I'm not sure when that'll be next week, but it should be sometime next week. Um, we will take on the Pokemon League, but uh, there should be a few episodes of post-game before we move on to our next main game here on the channel. And I'll get back to Tekken. Um, as I was kind of said before, uh, I had some, what's the word, technical issues um, working on Tekken earlier um, last week, but... I should, I did find a way to iron those out. I didn't really know what was going on at first. Oh, this is actually a really, really bad place to train Togekiss. Um, I didn't really know what was going on at first. Um, let me just at least kill this Onyx if I can. Um, but now I, sh now I know what's going on and I should be able to take care of things. Um, and yeah, then we'll be cooking with gas and we'll be able to get back to Tekken. I'm having so much fun with it. It's like so delightful to me to revisit that game. Oh, it looks like my... This might have just died. There we go. That was weird. Um, I had to plug in my keyboard do 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 and uh i think the next main game that we're gonna have might be a little bit of a surprise to people so i'm actually very curious if you guys think you know what it's gonna be so if you are watching this on youtube just comment and see if you know what the next game's gonna be um, ooh, we actually just hit 200 HP with Pikachu, the Vaporeon. That's awesome. Um, and at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Um, I will give you that hint, Glacial. It is Pokemon related. It is Pokemon related. It might not be what you're expecting, but it is Pokemon related. And I'm curious for you to guess. I'm not going to tell you yet what it is because I'm not ready to announce it. Um... But uh, once we get into some of the Platinum post-game episodes, <laughs> Pokemon Pinball, you know it's right. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Um, but um, as I've always said, I am always looking to play non-Pokemon on the channel as well, which is why I kind of have that secondary series usually running. Um... But eventually, one of these days, I am going to run a main series game on the channel that is not Pokemon. I just want to take one more look at our nicely polished badges, because they will not look like this the next episode of Platinum. Um, will it finally be the Pokemon trading card game? I don't know. I don't know. That is a famous one for the original Game Boy Color. It might have even been on the original Game Boy. I actually don't know. it. Um, that's, that's an old one. Um, but I never played the game, uh, the trading card game growing up. I just loved collecting the cards, which I still do, of course. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save again because I have anxiety. But folks, thank you for being here with me today. Um, I was so happy that we were able to catch the Lake Trio way easier than I thought. Um, they were not too difficult. They, I remember having way more trouble with them uh, when I would play this game growing up. But next episode, I think we will be just about ready to take on the Pokemon League. I will get everybody trained up the way they need to be trained up, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. We will get some better movesets on people as well. Um, I might not go crazy with it, um, I just want to at least get another good coverage move on Togekiss, at least get another good, uh, to get Brick Break back on, whatchamacallit, um, hot to go. Um, you are welcome for the stream, Glacial. Thank you for being here. It's always so much fun. I love doing, like, the Saturday afternoon streams. Um, 
playing a video game on a sunny Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon just feels really good to me. I did that just so much when I was young. Um, and it always felt super right. And one of the reasons I created this Twitch slash YouTube channel. Anyway, thank you again. I will see you next week. Uh, happy almost December. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrated that um, this week. And I will see you all next time. Peace, kids.